Hello again, Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, back for another uh, Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress video. This time, the Crew Tracker Dahak Grek. Dahak Grek, and I'm probably not pronouncing that right. I'm going to start with True Blue 09017. So, getting the iconic Crew skin tone is going to be a little tricky. We'll see what it ends up looking like, but I'm going to have to use multiple colors. So yeah, that name definitely sounds like a noise I make when I'm uh, sick and coughing up phlegm, so I'm probably not pronouncing it even close to the way they intended it. But the Crute are a species allied with the Tau Empire, but they are heavily, heavily mercenary. So... Tau are kind of deluding themselves into thinking they're really working for their greater good philosophy, but the crude are only working for them because they get paid. Grek is a tracker and hunter. He can set traps both in Warhammer Quest and in regular games of Warhammer 40,000, and because he does have the Crute and Tau keywords, he can work for them, so he's one of the easier ones to include. And honestly, some of the Imperium-related models are only difficult to include now because of a rata that kind of nerfed the keyword system because it was being exploited unfairly. I'll have to double-check the exact wording on it, but... The Aretta, I mean, but, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to use different colors to, uh, shade and highlight this blue here. So, we'll see. It's either going to turn out really awesome or kind of disturbing. I'm not sure which at this point. Yeah, either awesome or disturbing. There's no in between. <laughs> I can't tell if he's wearing pants or not, but he does have uh, boots that cover it, go up to his knees. Most of the crew models are basically naked. Uh, they don't have external genitalia either, as far as I can tell, so... Shouldn't be any... And there it goes. So shouldn't be any issue. Alright. Let's see, heels are exposed here. So, outside of being mercenaries, the crew's own technology has been upgraded slightly by the Tau, and generally they use physical rifles with uh, plasma coated bullets, cartridges, but uh, they are also uh, cannibalistic. In earlier editions of the fiction, they have essentially blank space in their genetic code that they can fill with DNA taken from other species. And pass that on to other, to future generations. Grek's traps look like an old bear trap because he'd rather have something to eat and absorb afterwards. He doesn't have an agenda like the other explorers, but let's see, I don't want to do his coils. We'll go with, I'm going to do something funky here too. I'll try, let's do red brick 09001. So he doesn't have an agenda. Instead, he gets to count his kills double for purposes of getting inspired during combat encounters. And I'll have to ch double check the rules on being inspired once I get more of these models painted. Because I'm not quite sure how long it lasts. Again, it's a complicated game. Okay, so I'll do a variety of shading and highlighting on the quills too. I got these spines instead of hair and Grex here are more prominent. Okay, yeah, that's definitely armor there. Let's 
go ahead and call that good for the time being and let some of this dry before I start on this armor and weapons. Alright, let's take, if I can find it, Stormy Gray 09088 and get his rifle and his pistol if I can, if there's enough to paint. Well, the blades will get uh, done in a sharp looking steel color later. For now, I'm just going to get the stock and the barrel. Yeah, needless to say, the uh, crew did get a substantial boost in their tech from the Tau, but the Tau only trusts them so far and ignore the Crute's more mercenary aspects more than they should. His, let's see, there's his pistol. So let's go ahead and get that. Now, his knife, there's his knife. One of these days, I'm going to figure out why I keep whispering all the time on those videos. Well, Leather 09110. So. Alright. In games of Blackstone Fortress, the, uh big thing about Dayhack's ship is uh, he offers contracts on specific enemy types that give, I think it's giving bonuses against those enemies. I'd have to, again, double check that because I've just kind of skimmed the cards. Not really looked too closely at the specific uh, Rewards available for purchase at the various ships docked at Precipice. But his traps are nasty as they cause grievous wounds, which is three damage apiece. And before a combat encounter begins, he can move and place one. While you're limited to three per encounter, it's still a substantial advantage. And the enemy does not, the hostiles do not have an option necessarily to go around there. Okay, let's see here. Can their behaviors dictated by a dice roll and a chart? I think we can assume he would hide his traps so that they're not, you know, bluntly obvious anyway. Okay. Yeah, let's get the barrel of his rifle wrapped in the leather or some similar material.
of fiction that came with the game, the single chapter of this upcoming book, he was mentioned, was an active participant in it. So, hopefully I can get the game itself all painted and played and finished up before that book comes out. Right this second, I'm just trying to be as thorough as I can be with some of these details. Trying not to miss anything. I think this is Goggles. Or a Goggle. His left eye is cybernetic. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. I'm going to need to let this dry for a minute before I move on. Well, yeah, I'm going to need to let this dry. I'm getting there. Next up, Old Bronze, Pauldron and then all these cartridges he's got. Okay, yeah, let's go back to that uh, leather real quick because he is definitely wearing pants. So, he's got shorts on, so we'll go ahead and take care of that now that I've seen the details that tell me so. Zero nine zero zero two. armor here for the rest of it. Shield Brown zero nine one six one.
tricky to get the inside there in general. Because that's an artifice of the way the model is designed and assembled. Tarnished steel zero nine two zero six. And these are not natural parts of his anatomy, but rather spurs. on his crew rifle. Well, this is a standard issue crew weapon. He's more skilled with it than typical and has abilities that most crew don't. Yellow bone zero nine one four three. It's claws and beak. And yep, the uh, crude have beaks. There's a reason they're called death chickens. He might be missing a toe, but just realized I forgot to do his bionic eye, so using the steel will take care of that. Get the area in and around it. Get that ivory again and get his talons. And that's base coats. Move on when it's dry. All right, time to shade. Wood stain brown zero nine one six zero. I'm going to use this on the quills and the cloak. We'll see what else I can do after this is done. <laughs> About half paint, half water to dilute the paint to a wash. I did finally buy some new brushes, so using fresh material here.
now for the quills here. And his head was not as problematic as some of the other morals, but it was two pieces. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm going to use a steel, so black and steel, 09205. Might be able to get away with quite a bit here. Optic blades, of course. Then I think the ivory, so stained ivory, zero nine one four two. May have overextended on the beak more than I needed to, so I'll just bear that in mind as I work. And this lid's fighting me. There we go. Yeah, I think he is. No, nope. he isn't missing a toe. I just missed it. And I can do the bronze, so age pure 09196. Should be able to do that okay. And then I nick the shoulder a little bit with that ivory, so I'll just blot that out. Take my aged pewter. cartridges here. At least I think they're extra cartridges for his rifle. They look all different. They're probably each a specialized payload. Well, might be tempting fate, but I think I can get the red too, so red brick 09001. solution I didn't catch it all right I can fix it so nothing to worry about didn't damage anything just got on the bottom of a bottle of paint nothing too serious there okay so getting that red in here so, there's armor Nicking the brown, I'll just touch that up real quick. Okay, that's just gonna leave the leather, the gun gray here, and the skin tone. Okay, so I'm in pretty good shape right now. I don't know, I seem to have bumped into something, but. Whatever. Next up is going to be Bruddy Leather 09109. Okay. I'm okay, diluting to about half paint, half water. And 
that I am at the point where I can only do one color at a time, basically. That, that happens. Again, this is not a hobby for impatient people, so... is always going to be a substantial investment in time, and the more time you invest, the better your stuff will turn out looking. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to let that dry for a bit before I get the next color, so getting there though. Alright, just uh let's see. The gray and the blue, so just two left, so pure black zero nine zero three seven. There's very little left in here, but I need very little to finish on the other hand, so I'm going to thin this one out more than usual. we got to be careful when using straight black because it, it's really easy to go too dark on it and muck up the details underneath. I'm just going to have to wait and let that dry before I try my little experiment on his flesh. So, back in a minute. Okay, let's see if this experiment works. I'm going to try Pale Olive 09036. So, let's see how this works out. does end up looking more horrific than awesome. Well, Greg's been living in a harsh environment aboard the uh, City of Precipice, so be careful on his cyber eye. That's uncorrupted metal. So not quite that kind of blue green I want yet, but I think this will work out reasonably well, even if it's not quite what I was going for. But again, this is an experiment, so you never learn unless you try. supposed to be a brace where I missed. 
Uh, yeah, it is. So, all right, I'll fix that off camera. Go ahead and fix it off camera, but for now, let's just go ahead and finish up our trackers shading here. that dry fix up that uh, bracer I missed on his left arm and I will go from there and so far so good I'd say okay let's get some pupils done let's get some lighting effects set up or not pupils eyes uh, 09039 sclera I believe is the correct term I'm not certain on that to think of it, I don't actually know what color crude eyes are supposed to be or how they're pigmented, so I'm just gonna do something typical for me. So we'll get the eye in white, get the lighting star on his bionic, and get a little white in this single goggle lens here. Let's see. Oh, that should be good for lighting effects, so let that dry. I already took care of that arm band. That's drying, so come back in a minute. Okay. Ruby Red is 09101. Use this on the Bionic. lens as well. It should be enough to push that around a little bit. It should do the job reasonably well. And then taking a tiny dot of pure black. second time after I highlight we'll just see what happens when it happens now once that uh, little last bit is dry completely I can start highlighting all right highlighting surf aqua 09078 we'll see if this works out Dude, there it's probably gonna be a good long while before I get another crew model anyway so we'll just bear in mind what happens here with this little experiment. This is dry brushing, so I am rubbing most of the paint off on a paper towel.
this brush may not be in the best shape more for any more for this but I'll just roll with it for tonight hmm not quite what I was going for or hoping for but it's not too bad either so a little tweaking and maybe next time it'll be okay well, let's maybe nick that knee under the bed layer a little bit more maybe that look a little better all right so creamy ivory 09144 Zero nine one one one. Swap and blood red zero nine zero zero three. Hmm. Which is plugged up so paper clip hole. visible parts of the armor and then the quills will be highlighted in this as well swap I think and zero nine one nine eight tarnished brass now this one I'm only going to put on the cartridges on his belt Got a little bit of red in that when I uh, dry brushed, huh? Oh, where is it? Cloudy gray zero nine zero eight nine. Hmm. Missed his uh, knife there. The scabbard for it. Now cloudy gray.
That might be alright. True Silver 09207. I'm doing these frequent brush swaps because I can, and the drier the brush, the better for this technique. So, if you only have one, then just dry thoroughly between coats or colors, you know, you know what I'm saying. Up that bionic eye. There's two left. Driftwood Brown zero nine one six two. out really good on that clip cloak cape <laughs> okay and that's my mother so I'm gonna stop here and come back in a second okay that was depressing my mother called me just to tell me to look at this documentary online which is a bunch of BS along the lines of the anti-vaxxers and other stuff like that so yeah, I love my mother, but she is way, way too susceptible to, well, anything she hears, really. Follows m magazines that have dangerous advice that's just, yeah, I, I love my mom, but she is very gullible when it comes to certain health-related things, so 09102 Coppery Orange, I'm going to give his uh, pauldron on the shoulder a little different kind of color I oh boy not how I wanted it you know wrap this video up on oh yeah okay Yeah, I don't know how I can do that whistling thing with my lips either, but, um, Pure Black 090370, yeah. And a flathead brush. And I did not just dismiss what my mother told me either. I did just take a quick look at the YouTube video she said to, re to look at. And it's just, it's again, just propaganda from one group against another group. Just good grief. Good bloody grief. <sighs> And unfortunately, my faith in so-called documentaries has been, well, shattered, quite frankly, because so many of them anymore, instead of telling me facts, and this comes more with documentaries about, about social-related issues like nutrition, etc., so many of them have a spin on them, either in favor of something, of and in, either in favor of an industry or a political viewpoint, it's it's ridiculous. It really is. Documentaries should be just facts with no opinions put in, not these infomercials pass themselves off as documentaries. So, all right, that gets every uh, painting done. All I need to do now is uh, let that dry and get some basic material on there. Okay, basing, white glue and water. I, yeah, this whole documentary thing has really left a bad taste in my mouth.
so Michael and water mix it all up yeah any so-called documentary that a has a book tied to it and b opens up with a rant about uh, a big government conspiracy is yeah it's just bunk all right so dipping in rock debris Getting off the edge there and dusting away with a separate dry brush, mostly getting it off his toes. Yeah. Okay, just need to let that set for a little bit, then I can seal it and finish up. Alright, the basing has had time to set, so using a sprayer brush on adhesive and a glass eyedropper. Glass because this stuff will stick to plastic lickety split. As in, gum it up and ruin the item. Let's get that off camera because I tend to focus on that instead of the model. Just carefully drip it around the feet. Get it nice and wet, but you need to let it set first, otherwise this will push the material around, and when it's uh, done, it'll give you a rock-hard finish. And that's it. That is that. <clears throat> Day hat Greg uh, Crew Tracker. So got one more explorer video to do for this game and then it's on to the hostiles until next time i mean stoking with mastermind games signing out